ಮತ್ರದುಂಡಮಹಾಕಾಯ ಸೂರ್ಯಕೋಟಿಸಮಭ ನಿರ್ವಿಘ್ನ ಕುರು ಮೇ ದೇವಕಾರ್ಯು ಸರಸ್ವತಿ ನಮಸ್ತುಭ್ಯ ಪರದೇ ಕಾಮೂಪಿ ವಿದ್ಯಾರಂಭಂ ಕರಿಷ್ಯಾಮಿ ಸಿದ್ಧರ್ಭವತು ಮೇ ಸದಾ ಸಾಕ್ಷಾತ್ ದಯಾನಂದ ಪರಮಾರ್ಥಸ್ವರೂಪಿಣ ತತ್ವಜ್ಞಾನ ಪ್ರಶಾಸ್ತಾರ ಪ್ರಣತಸ್ಮಿ ಪರಂ ಪದ ವಾಗರ್ಥಿವ ಸಂಪೃಕ್ತ ವಾಗರ್ಥ ಪ್ರತಿಪತ್ತೇ ಜಗತ ಪಿತರ ವಂದೇ ಪಾರ್ವತಿ ಪರಮೇಶ್ವರ ಯೇನಾಕ್ಷರಸಮಾಧಿಗಮ್ಯ ಮಹೇಶ್ವರ ಕೃತ್ಸ್ನ ವ್ಯಾಕರಣ ಪ್ರೋಕ್ತ ತಸ್ಮೈ ಪಾಣಿನಯ ನಮಃ ವಾಖ್ಯಕಾರ ವರರುಚಿ ಭಾಷ್ಯಕಾರ ಪತಂಜಲಿ ಪಾಣಿ ಸೂತ್ರಕಾರ ಪ್ರಣತಸ್ಮಿ ಮುನಿತ್ರ ಸಹನಾತು ಸಹನೋ ಭುನತ್ಸು ಸ ವೀರ್ಯಂಕರ ಬಾಬಹೆ ತೇಜಸ್ವಿನಧಿ ತಮಸ್ತಮಾಷಾವಹೆ ಶಾಂತಶಾಂತಿ They are doing Abhyasa of Shatranta Srilinga Rupani. You remember, right? Shatranta Srilinga? Yes, good. Yes, good. 1, 4, and 10. Pratipadika Mitsab Namissa must. And for the 6th conjugation. And, optional. Uh, yeah, optional. And Akaranta, that was of the 2nd conjugation. Namiss optional. and what about pulinga except oh, except for except the third and the seven dhatus of the seven dhatus uh, second kana num will come no more no more yeah except that num will come yeah right come for what where for what all the other kanas no num comes in the case of shailinga pradipadikam num comes num comes for the pradipadikam right Yes. and here pulling it it comes to the pratyaya pratyaya yes yeah this means ravanama sthana pratyaya follows that is the condition mm-hmm. so it means 1 1 1 2 1 3 2 1 2 2 right not in the pratyapadikam itself pratyapadikam only for sri linga right mm-hmm. yes sir the, the distinction should be clear sarvanama sthane yeah. pratyaya pare Nam Bhavati Pullingi for all except third conjugation and seventh dhatu, sorry, second conjugation. For Strelinga, Strelinga Pratipati, Strelinga Pratyaya, Ni Pratyaya Pare, for the Shatra Pratyaya, which follows 1, 4, 10, will get Nam mandatorily and for sixth, that is, conjugation sha and for the second conjugation akaranda to no will come for shatra when followed by trilinga pratyayi optionally others will not come the format i think you remember fine anyway you remember you know it now let us do the abhyasa trilinga i think it will be over then we can see napum sakalinga Yes. Guruji, uh, uh, sorry, yes. Guruji, sorry to interrupt. Please. 
please ask yeah guruji uh, you said to remind about that dhatu kosha very good Next yeah yeah you like to know it but i can see it's interesting so already you are familiar with the dhatu pata right mm -hmm. dhatu pata not dhatu kosha anyway i will open both the file good uh, you yes, asked me that So this Dhatu Kosha you must be having, right? Yes, Ji. Dhatu Kosha. Yes. So yes. the first column, first column as Dhatu with along with the eighth letter. The third column minus the eighth letter. For example, Akka, what is the eighth letter? Akka is the content. Eighth letter must be? Akka is the content, Akka. Akka is the content ah. of Akha. Ah, that for ah. it is ah. nas nasalized. Ah. ah, you have to say, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, let me open a word file and then See just the first let us see what is this and uh, there is it letter then you uh, will see the first dhatu as the dhatu kosha akka whose content is uh, therefore the it letter must be uh, so it must be ah uh, it is not ah uh, okay nasalized it letters alone vowels alone it letter even though it is not given but you need to understand you follow mm, yeah. nasalized verb it is not a is it the letter uh is it the letter nasalized verb this is in fact that nasalization pronunciation was there before oh, oh, we have lost so it, that's how we all the uh, dhatu das dhatu also so in fact the definition of it in one of one of the definition is nasalized vowels or it second one aki the dhatu so the dhatu is really speaking it is aki dhatu with the it letter what is the it letter kara what is the content because ikara is it letter the difference between the two is e the vowel it letter here a the vowel, the nasalized vowel it letter shouldn't be the content be same but content is not same you know why it the letters are different therefore content is the it letter makes a difference brings a difference what is the difference when e is a it letter I think you know. I taught you. What type of dhatu this is? This is ikara. Is it the fourth idid dhatu? Is it not idid dhatu? Yeah. Remember yes. idid dhatu. What yes. is idid? It. It. It means it. This takara stands for only rasvakara. Because he stands for all the letters Raswa, Dirga, Pruta, etc. Therefore, to say the Raswa Kara is it in which that is idit, and here it is Datu. Therefore, Datu is idit Datu. Understand? Hmm. So idit Datu will get Num Agama. Therefore, Num will come. Num being a Mitagama, it comes. After the last vowel here, only one vowel is there. A uh, therefore comes after that. Now this nakara will, apadanta nakara, will become anuswara when followed by jal. After that, anuswara when followed by y letter will become parasvarma. Therefore ank, right? 
You follow. Mm. Yes, Guruji. Yeah. This is yeah. this is this is what is given here. Ang, how do you get ang? See the difference between the ether letter here. Nasalized akara is ether letter. Here nasalized ikara is ether letter. So both are bubbles, but you can see the difference, in the content, right? Mm. Other generally aksha aksha is nasalized akara ether letter. Therefore content is aksh. Aga akara. A uh, is it letter. Therefore, uh, here agi e is it letter. Therefore, it is that to num will come. Therefore, ang here agi e is it letter. Therefore, ang similarly for all. Understand? Hmm. Anchu o is it letter. Therefore, anj ata a uh, is it letter. That is at. So, like that, we need to understand for all. All you, know, you can understand everything is like that. Any that you take. Uh, Right, understand. So yeah. the the four dhatu, you see. Now take this first dhatu itself. I'm taking this example. See, not that all the dhatus must have ith letter. There can be dhatus without ith letter also, like bu dhatu, right? Doesn't have ith letter. What is the content of bu? Bu doesn't have ith letter. Content of bu is bu only. You cannot make u as ith letter, then we have problem. What is the problem? If you take bu as ith letter, then bakara alone will be the content. How can a dhatu have only a consonant without a verbal, right? Cannot be. Dhatu must have at least one verbal, right? So swara ragitaha dhatu nasti. It cannot be, right? Swara Ragita verbal cannot be pronounced. This uh, Swara Ragita uh, uh, Venjanam cannot be pronounced. Mm -hmm. okay. Then how can a Dhatu be, be there without a verbal? So if Bu is a Dhatu and no it letters, it the letters or it letter uh, given, content is Bu only. So not all the Dhatus must have uh, it letter. Okay. So and if it letters are given, they are given for a purpose that we need to understand, right? You know, what is it letter? Packing letter. If packing letters, packing letter is not a must. It is not we decide what packing letter should be given. It is all given by Panadi Magarshi in this book, Dhatu Pata. That is what we are going to see. And that all is captured in the form of Dhatu Kosha, with all the... Uh, you know, the content, the meaning, etc. Say it, I need, paraspari, atmanipadi, etc. Now, the, let us see the significance of the ith letter. And uh, anith letter, uh, anith also, both. So now, first point is, dhatu, I mean, uh, the ith letter is not a must. Okay, number one, there are dhatus which uh, do not have ith letter. Just please note it. Okay. And a dhatu must have one, at least one bubble. Okay. There cannot be dhatu without any bubble. And the dhatu pata, the dhatu pata, you will find ekach dhatu only. Almost ek, all the dhatus in the dhatu pata has only one bubble. There are some dhatus about Six or seven exact count, I think maybe six or seven only. They are they have two vowels, anekash datavaha. So datu can be classified based on the number of vowels. Ekash datava. Ekash datava means datu mm -hmm. having one vowel. Anekash is many vowel. So in the datu pata, you will have mm -hmm. datus having one vowel. Now what do you mean by one bubble? We'll come to the discussion a little later. What do you mean by one bubbled dhatu? Now, oh, akha is a dhatu. How many bubbles are there? Take one. the dhatu. One. Which, what do you count as one? Here, akara plus akara plus uh, is there. How many bubbles are there? One. You don't, give, you don't, you don't consider this, right? Yes, okay. that's correct only. Don't consider that because this is a packing letter. 
it will not mm. be a part of your conjugation when you do lakara let lakara lang lakara etc right it will not be a part mm. of it this is packing letter so dhatu invariably invariably uh, must have or has you know should have or a dhatu you know you you will see having one verbal and there are some dhatus the dhatu pata having more than one verbal as i said the six or seven dhatus are there only and yet you can derive a dhatu from a dhatu right by adding that pratya nish pratya they become like a pat dhatu pat plus nish what will happen what is it what is it get get party right pat plus nish causative dhatu causative forms nich will cause part to upada vriddhi will happen and content of nich is e party this is a dhatu yes or no you have seen this vijanta dhatu causative forms yes or no yes i was mean, remember right nich yeah 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 what is party okay. did you see this dhatu in the dhatu pata these are the two types of dhatus in the dhatu pata dhatu pate we have two types of dhatu ekash dhatavah anekash dhatavah what about uh, party party is a derived dhatu okay okay derived dhatu sandal you will not see in the dhatu pata and because it is derived by the addition of pratyaya and dhatu as one vowel and pratyaya must have a vowel so both put together it becomes more than one vowel anekach therefore all the derived dhatus you know they must be anekach dhatu no anekach dhatava number 1 set of course yes anekach dhatava understand oh, sorry yeah. all derived dhatus are anekach dhatava and they are derived dhatus we call derived dhatus as ati deshika datavah ati deshika datavah ati deshika datavah ati deshika datavah is the datu sanya is extended to your party is not listed in the datu pata if it is not listed in the datu pata then how can you call it as a datu no the datu sanya the name is extended to the dhatu though it is not read in the dhatu pata the dhatu sanya is extended to the dhatu ekalati deshika dhatu and dhatu sorry dhatu pata are called aupadeshika dhatava aupadeshika dhatava upadesha means you know upadesha means that which are instructed by panini magarshi or that which are instructed given by the acharya in the tradition vyakarana acharya like atyayana and uh, patanjali so pani magarshi wrote pancha grantha you know sutra pada dhatu pata linga anushasan manadi sutra gana pata they are called upadesha upadesha means instruction so aupadeshika dhatu pata is one therefore aupadeshika dhatavah so we have aupadeshika dhatavah aupadeshika dhat dhatavah is dhatus which are listed in the dhatu pata ati dashi ati deshika dhatavah means they are derived dhatus in other words these dhatus are there in the dhatu pata aupadeshika ati deshika sar derived dhatus we can derive any number of dhatus we derive one party then this from this party we can derive another dhatu also possible all these are possible possibilities now anekash dhatu i said told it is very less so but we can consider for all our practical you know applications aupadeshika dhatu so i've got only one verbal aupadeshika dhatu vah ekach dhatu vah we can say lose nothing wrong understand hmm. aupadeshika dhatu vah dhatu sar दातव एक बवंती कैसे ऐसा नो सी अंडरस्टैंड 
I am not considering the Anika because it is only only few, maybe six or seven. So it's nothing compared to two thousand dhatus or the dhatu, right? The dhatu pada we have two thousand dhatus compared to that. Only this uh, six or seven is nothing. Therefore, when six or seven comes, that time we will see. We not worry. So I am just loosely saying, our Pradeshi ka dhatu sir, ekash bhavanti. You follow? Agree? Yes. Yeah. Then. Then, Aati Deshi ka dhatu sir, Aati Deshi ka dhatu ha, ha? Anikaj. Anikaj bhavanti. This point you understand. Mm. So when I say, uh, when I say, ekach and ekach, I'm not considering the it letter. Number one. Number two, all aupadeshi kadatos are ekach, all adideshi kadatos are anekach. And uh, as you said, anekach datos are set. That also we know. Anekachaha, setaha bhavanti, right? Any doubt in this? Aneka jatus are set. They must be set only. Why we say so? Because the rules are given only for Eka jatu, not for Aneka jatu. The Eka jatu, some the rule is a rule. I will say little later. It's only given for Eka jatu. Eka jatu, the only can be set. And it or wait. Eka chaha, eka ch, eka chaha, set va, and it va, wait va, bhavanti, right? Because the rules are given only for eka chaha. This is, this is clear what I said up to here, up to now? Yes, sir. So, now. So Guruji, uh, all Ekaj Dhatus are Anit, is it? No, 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 I didn't say that. Did I say that? Anit Va. Va means all. So it can be, okay. It can be said, depending on the condition, what it is. That's what okay, we're going okay, to see. Okay, got it. Yeah. Ekaj Dhatus can be said or Anit or wait. But all Anekaj Dhatus are said. Why we say? Because there is no rule to say Anekaj Dhatus you know, depending on the condition, should be set or on it. There are no such rules. Rules are given yeah. only for Ekach. Ekach only can be set or on it or wait, depending on the condition that we will see. That's what we are going to see. Yeah. All Anekach are set only. And all Ati Deshi Kadatos are Anekach. This point must be clear. All derived Dhatos are Anekach Dhatos. Anekach Dhatos are set. Is it clear? Yes. Yes. And all Aupadeshi Kadatus, I'm saying all Aupadeshi I'm not considering this because it's only seven, negligible. All Aupadeshi Kadatus are Ekash Dhatu and Ekash Dhatu can be said and eat or wait. Agree? Agree. Okay. Yes. Now, take this Dhatu for example. Ak. Okay, please listen to the line of discussion so you will understand. Now, this is Ekash or Anekash. Ekach. This Dhatu is read in the Dhatu Pata and uh, therefore, okay. Ati Deshi ka Dhatu or Aupadeshi ka Dhatu? No. Huh? Yes. No, they are derived, right? Ati Deshi ka or Aupadeshi ka? That's Dhatu Akha. Aupadeshi. Aupadeshi ka. Aupadeshi ka, no doubt, right? Yeah, it is yes, not derived yeah. Dhatu. It is as right. given by the Panini Magarishi in the Dhatu Pata. Okay. Yeah. yeah. And the Dhatu with the Ita letter Akha. And the, now I am writing this A plus Ka plus It. Now this is Ita letter, right? A is It. And what about this? That is not It. So now this Dhatu has got. Two Amsha. The Atoho, these are all my statement. Okay, this is Amsha Dvayam Asti. What are the two Amsha from the standpoint of the bubble I'm talking about? Consonants we need not consider. 
ratoho ho amshadvayam. One is, one is it amsha. It amsha means it the letter. Second one is, this is it. Amsha means aspect. It aspect and this is, is it it the letter? No. No. Therefore it is anitamsha. Can I say anitamsha? Hmm. That which is not it is anit. Right? So dato ho amsha dvayam asti. Any dato, you know, you will see these two amsha. As I told, some dhatus do not have its letter. Right? That's why you don't worry, like Buddhatu. In general, you will have these two amsha. Dhatu with the letter. Yes or no? Yes. yes now, take the other dhatu to understand, take more examples. Aji dhatu, for example, or Aki dhatu itself, that already we have taken the example, the same dhatu. So, Aki dhatu, if you take, so here for this Akdatu, for this Akadatu, Akadatu, what is Itamsha? Huh? Itamsha it is Itamsha is ah, uh, right? Hmm. Anitamsha is It is no. non uh, uh -huh. Similarly, Aki Dhatu. You can take any Dhatu as you wish. Okay. Aki Dhatu. Aki with the letter. Itamsha is E. Nasal is D. That's why I see. Anitamsha is A. Uh. Mm -hmm. Here, this Itamsha has got no purpose. And this Itamsha, of course, the Dhatu, because of this, it is only it is Idit Dhatu, therefore only Num comes. Right? We did it, therefore, no. all those things are uh, special uh, additional operation happens because of the ether letter. That is the significance of ether letter. Okay. Sometimes ether letter just comes as a packing, it may not have significance. Sometimes the ether letter has got significance. Okay. So this is itamsha and itamsha. Right? Now, This itta, <clears throat> what is the significance of this itamsha? One is, you say, idita, right? I mean, one is uh, to say, like in the case of idita, etc. That is one significance. And before that, this itta letter, if you see, the itta letter, here, I, here itself, I'll try. About itta letter. And itta letter could be, Itta Varnaha could be Achwa Alba Bhavat. You understand the statement? Itta Varnaha Achwa Alba Bhavati means Itta Letter can be a verbal or or a concept. Answer. When you say it is a vowel, it must be a nasal as well because it's a letter. Hmm. And when it is consonant, consonant cannot be nasalized, okay? <laughs> Except for the semi vowels. Yeah, the, that also repa is excluded. So when it is H, it is nasalized. Now you tell me when, for which dhatu vowel, the nasalized vowel could be there. The which dhatu. Which dhatu will have hal that is consonant in the letter. You understand my question? If the letter can be a vowel or a consonant, which for which dhatu ach it the letter will be there for which dhatus al al it the letter will be there. You will see it. No, no, no. no. Not. It letters are packing letters. Okay. 
much as a packing letter comes for halanta dhatu dhatu ending with a consonant consonant sorry halanta dhata dhata vaha halanta dhatu nam hal itvarna ha you see what i am writing english you can understand al bhavati so simple common thing so it's not a big thing this is just a given as some idea about it letter alanta dhatu na itvarna ha al bhavati example alanta dhatu ending with consonant sorry itvarna ha ach bhavati kshamita sorry alanta dhatu will have ach example same ak dhatu this is a example dato is ak right this is dato alanta dato yes or no dato is alanta dato dato ending with the consonant as a packing letter ach letter so alanta dato nam ach bhavati okay you follow yes the dato could be halanta और अजंता अजंता धातु नाम लाइक वी हैव शब्द अजंता हलंत समय धातु सॉल्व सो वी हैव अजंता धातु नाम इत्वर्ण ह हल भवति एग्जांपल एग्जांपल यू से सम लॉट ऑफ एग्जांपल्स आर देयर दुखरिं करणे नगी नगी रक्षति दुखरिं दुखरिं धातु व्हाट इज द कंटेंट डू यू सी इट द लेटर Father, there's a separate sutra. He said, "Don't worry about do. Do is the letter. Kr and nekara. Now, do is the it letter. And uh, nek nya. That is also it letter. What is content of the dhatu? Kr. So that only you get karoti, krutaha, all those things, right? So nekara." The hal letter, which is the letter, the packing letter for the ajanta, ajanta, not achanta, ajanta dhatu. Follow. So this is the the general rule. Alanta dhatu will have will have the itvarna ach. Alanta. अजंत धातु विल हैव हल हल राइट सो देयरफॉर इट लेटर कुड बी अ कंसोनेंट और कुड बी अ वर्ब राइट डिपेंडिंग ऑन व्हाट द धातु इज अजंत हलंत इज इट क्लियर यस यस सो व्हाट डू आई से सो फार धातु कैन बी क्लासिफाइड एज औपदेशिका और अतिदेशिका नंबर 1 And in the Upadeshika Dhatus, there are Ekash Dhatu, Anekash Dhatu. Anekash we need not consider for time being. We can say Ekash only. And all Ekash Dhatus, I mean all Upadeshika Dhatus are Ekash, and they can be said any other way, whatever it is, could be depending on the conditions, depending on the rule we will see. And all Ati uh, Ati Deshika Dhatu, Dere Dhatus are Anekash. Anekash will be said. This is about the Dhatu. And dhatus have itta letter because we have to analyze the dhatu. Here, how is itta letter? Is itta letter? What about the itta letter? Itta or na ha could be a vowel or a consonant. Then, which dhatu will have ach itta or na or al itta or na? Alanta dhatus will have ach itta or na. Ajanta dhatus will have al itta or na. Number two, right? Is it clear? Now, yes, taking sir. a dhatu. Yeah. Analyzing the dhatu. This is the third step, actually. The number I told it first. The dhatu, because it has itta letter, invariably you will see the dhatu will have itta letter. Exception may be that that is okay. That we will come to that later. Dhatu will have two amsha. I mean, in terms of the vowel, I am saying one is itta amsha, other one is anitta amsha. Itta amsha, anitta amsha. So, and dhatu of amsha do you? This itta amsha, anitta amsha. We have to find out from the dhatu. Therefore, akadhatu, for example, as the itamsha, 
Anitamsha means the A is a part of the Dhatu. A is not. It's a ita letter. When we do Angakari and all, this should not be considered. This is a packing letter. Once it is taken for operation, means you have to remove the packing, throw it. But this ita letter has got some significance, as we saw here. For example, it is Dhatu E, Num will come. It becomes part of the Dhatu. After that, E has to be thrown out. It should not be considered. Understand? So, Itamsha and Itamsha. So, I give an example for uh, here, Itamsha having the verbal. So, let us say uh, a consonant uh, Itamsha, like for example, you can take Dukring itself. Dukring, Karane, Tadat, if you take. What is Itamsha? Do is it letter. That at the beginning. That you don't consider. It's it's the letter. Or we can stay Kring is a Dhatu. Do itself, you don't have to consider now. Because we have another separate rule for do is it the letter and it goes away. Now packing means at the end only, not at the beginning. Okay, do is it the letter, fine. That we don't have to consider now. Don't worry about it. Just uh, suspend that for some time being. This Dhatu having a it the letter, packing letter, because the Dhatu is agenda Dhatu, right? Content is what? Content is Kru. Content is Kru Dhatu. So therefore, Ajanta Dhatu. This is Alanta Dhatu. And this is also Alanta Dhatu. Therefore, Alanta Dhatu, we have Ach Itvarna. And Ajan, uh, Ajan, uh, Alanta. Ajanta Dhatu will have Hal Itvarna. Mm. Therefore, here, Nikara is the letter. Right? Mm. Nikara is the letter. And what is Anitam Shayar? Anitamsha is Kuru. That is that which is not it, but is Kuru. You follow what I'm saying? Up with us. Yes. Yes, Guruji. Okay. Now, this, the Itta letter, one more uh, example, I will do it. Then I will combine. Like uh, the Yes, I will take that one. Datu in Datu. In Datu is content is E. Ajanta Datu. Uh, therefore, it has a it letter Nakara. Right? And Anitamsha is E. Now, the Datus, four Datus I have taken, for example, right? All the all these datus. Number one. Opadeshika arati deshika. Opadeshika datu hava data hava avati deshika data hava. Opadeshika. Opadeshika. No doubt. Opadeshika data. Right. And uh, being a halanta for having ach it letter for ak aki. And Kru Dhatu and this, these two Dhatus. Being Ajanta, they have, therefore they have Al Itvarna. For now. Okay. Number two. And number three, we have divided the Dhatu based on the vowel Itamsha and Itamsha. Now, let us focus on the Itamsha part first of all the Dhatus. Okay. Itamsha. Itamsha, as I told, in addition to some specific specific operation, like Idi Dhatu is taking Num, etc. Similarly, uh, in Tha Nishta Pratya, we have seen Udi Dhatu, etc. There, you remember? Udi Dhatu, Udi Dhatu, Idi Dhatu, etc. In addition to those special, uh, you know, uh, because of the special properties, special operations can happen. Another important thing is this itamsha of the dhatu determines the dhatu is parastrepadi aratpanipadi. Itamsha of the dhatu Itamsha of the Dhatu. Dhatu Nam. 
it amsha anusaram this is all my statement and not just to make you understand anusaram dhatu naam it amsha anusaram atmane pada pratyaya va athava atmane it amsha anusaram atmane padi athava atmane padi va परस्मै पदिवा संज्ञा विधीयते इन कीपिंग विद द इतंश इतंश अनुसार दातो नाम संज्ञा भवति आत्मने पदि वा परस्मै पदि दातो कैन बी आत्मने पदि और परस्मै पदि यस और नो यस यस नॉट Not the uh, parasme pati dhatu can take atmane pati pratya. Not like that. That is dhatu. You know, if it is a parasme pati dhatu, then it will take parasme pati pratya. Pat dhatu is there. Can be patate, patate, patante. No, right? No. Lab dhatu, which is atmane pati dhatu. Can it can it be labati, labata ha, labanti? No. So. परस्मै परि दातु कैन टेक परस्मै पद प्रत्यय एंड आत्मने परि दातु कैन टेक ओनली आत्मने परि प्रत्यय ओके ओनली बोथ ऑफ बोथ एंड देयर आर उभय परि दातु प्रायर इट कैन टेक इदर ऑफ देम देयर आर उभय परि लाइक कृ दातु करोति कृता गुरुवंति कृते कुरुवाते कुरुवते वी नो राइट सो वी हैव थ्री परस्मै परि दातवः उभय आत्मने परि दातवः उभय परि दातवः अंडरस्टैंड नाउ How do you determine that that is parasmai padi or atmane padi? Once you know that that is atmane padi, then you add atmane padi pratyaya. If you know parasmai padi that that is parasmai padi, then you add parasmai padi pratyaya. Now the question is, how do you know that the that is parasmai padi or atmane padi? That is based on the itamsha. That is where this is another important, you know, aspect or the reference or the the purpose for which the it letters are. appended to the dhatu okay you understand yes yes now, yes good you see i say no if if nit dhatava what do you understand nit dhatava what does it mean nit dhatava Detail so that I can explain. Nit dhatu having yes. Ah, dhatu having yes. It letter. Nakara is it letter. Not yeah. Not ni. Nakara plus it is nit, right? Nakara plus it is what nit is. So dhatu having nakara as it letter, right? Nit dhatu. nakara as it letter can be there only for ajanta dhatu understand yes or no yes. because it letter being a consonant nakara it is for the ajanta dhatu right that's within bracket i am writing ajanta dhatu now okay you follow yes so git dhatu vah number 1 atmane padi nah bhavanti This is a rule. I'm not writing the rule. I'm just saying it. The dhatus which are nit dhatus, they are they will be atmane padi. Therefore, what about this year? Ing dhatu having nakara nit letter dhatu is ajanta dhatu having nakara na as nit letter. Therefore, dhatu is atmane padi. atmane padi understand that is the significance of the it amsha of the dhatu in addition to other amsha what are other aspect what are other significance the important significance the dhatu can be you know found on whether it is parasipati atmane padi based on the it letter is it clear Yes. 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 
Now, I'll take some example. You see this, the list of dhatus, where you will have Nakara Thitilatav. You see here, in Dhatu. Therefore, the Dhatu is? Atmanipadi. Is, is it given? Atmanipadi? Yes. I thought yes. this, this, is, this, is, this is the one. Last, uh, before. Atmanipadi, right? Atmanipadi Dhatu. Similarly, take any other it Dhatus. What about Eing Dhatu? Atmanipadi. Atmanipadi. See here, Atmanipadi. Yeah. Don't take it here. This is not a Nakara. Okay, this is Ida. This is different. Da and Nya. Both are different. Okay. Don't confuse with that. Then take any other Git Datus. Kadi, not uh, nya, nika, don't, don't take that as Kara is the dot will be there. Nit datus. Are there any other datus? Many are there, in fact. Yes, kum. Parasampadi or Atmanipadi? Atmanipadi. Is it clear now? So you will have, you will find Nit datus or Atmanipadi. Is it clear? Yes. Easy yes. now. Niddhatus are Atmanipadi. Okay, that is for Ajanta Dhatu. What about Halanta Dhatu? That I have not said. Halanta Dhatus. What about the Halanta? Halanta Dhatu, no, Gith, not Gith. Halanta Dhatus, what letter will be there? As it letter. Ach. Ach letter. Right? Therefore, mm -hmm. Alanta Dhatu Naam, therefore you please see. Anudhata, Anudhata plus it. I can join Dhatus having bubble as the it letter whose swara is Anudhata. The three types of swara is, you know, Udhata, Anudhata, Swarita. In Vedanta, you will see. Ganana and like that, no? Three swara will be mm -hmm. there. Anudata, Udata, and Swarita, the swara only for the bubbles. Bubbles alone get, have got swara. See, bubbles alone can be independently pronounced, right? Not the consonants. So, swaras are only for the bubbles. So, datus having ach it letters, you know, and the, uh, they have the swara. Anudata, they are Atmanipadi. I'm just joining. Anuda, Teth. Anudata plus it. Anudata, Teth. Anudata, Anudata plus it. Anudata, Teth. Anudata, it. Okay. Anudata, Teth. Anudata. Yeah, Anudata is itself with that. Anudata. Okay. Anudate Datavaha Atmani Padiraha Bhavanti. Is it clear? This is also a by rule. So Gita Dato is Atmani Padi and Anudate Datavaha are Atmani Padi. You follow? Yes. Any what question? is Anudata? How do you know it's Anudata? Swara. How do we know the Swara? How do you know the Swara means from what you are asking? When you say that you are asking, how do we know the Swara? Yeah, which, which letters in Acha are Anudata? Which letter? When, what are the letters in Acha which are considered as Anudata? What are the letters in Acha? What do you mean? I don't understand. What is that? See, a vowel can, any vowel can be in, in any of the Swara. A bubble can be in Udata, Anudata, Swarita. Any bubble can be Akara, Ika, Akara, Ikara, Ikara, Ukara, Ukara, Rikara, Likara, Okara, Ikara. Any bubble can be in any of this swara. Okay. 
I think you are asking a very fundamental question. Let us see here. This I taught you, I think, before. Please see the screen. Yes. A verbal, you know, can be either anunasika, anunasika, non-nasalized, or not anunasika. Two types of two differences. Then a verbal can be a rasva, short verbal. Long bubble and pluta. Then the bubble can be based on the swara. It can be udata, anudata, swarita. So it means each bubble can be or oh, can have 18 different forms. Each bubble, if you take akara, for example, akara, I given here, you can see akara, for example, I'm taking the bubble. The verbal akara. Ananunasika, non nasalized akara. And if the swara udata, udata will be like this. The Vedic chanting or in the print, you will see udata letters, udata verbals will not have any markings. Then, non nasalized again, the short verbal. Suppose having anudata swara, then you will see the Vedic chanting, you will see the underscore. It means, underscore means, it will be, mm -hmm. be a low tone, falling tone they call in Sanskrit, I mean uh, in English, falling tone, rising tone, falling tone, which you should know mantra, some mantra, Vedic mantra, so that only you will understand what is Udhata, Anudhata, Swarita. Now you can see, uh, for example, here, yeah, Rudram, Sham, Cha me, right? Chan cha me, bhagyas cha me, priyan cha me, no kamas cha me, kamas cha me, so manasas cha me. It is not just a red like that. Chan cha me, mayas cha me, like that. Swaras are there, right? Markings. So here, sham, sham in am is there. Am the bubble. Here we don't have any marking. The um, the bubble doesn't have any marking. The swara is udata. Here, cha, the a, uh, has a marking, vertical marking. It is called swarita. When you pronounce, when you say this, it is not same. Shancha me, cha is rising tone, up. I mean, it is uh, up. Me is down. This is. Anudata Swara. Anudata Swara is indicated by the underscore. Swarita Swara is indicated by the vertical score. And those which do not have any markings, they are Udata. This is how the Swara of the bubbles are presented in, the, in terms of markings in the chanting, Vedic chanting. So a bubble can have, any bubble can have these three types of Swara. Understand? Udata, Anudata, Swarita. Any mantra you take, it will be like that only, Vedic mantra. Yes, a very sim simple uh, Sahana Vavatu, Purna Madaha. How do you say Purna Madaha? I don't know. The, do you know, you know Sahana Vavatu chanting mantra? With Swara? Sahana Vavatu should be chanted with the Swara. You see the Swara? How do we chant? Sahana Vavatu. Sahana Bhunatu Sahaviyan Karavavahai Ejasvina Vadheta Mastoma Vid Vishavahai Om Shan Tishan Tishan Tehi We don't just simply Sahana Vatu Sahana Vatu It's not a Stotra, right? It's not a Stoka. It is Vid. Vedic, Vedic Mantra, Vedika Mantra. So Swaras are there. You can see the Swaras very clearly here. Sa, the note, you can see the marking. This is underscore with Anudata Swara. It means low. Sa is doesn't have any marking. That which doesn't have any mm -hmm. marking, Udata, which have marking up. It means should be up. Low, middle, eye. Okay, simple for your understanding. Low, middle, eye are the swara. Sahana bhavatu 
ಸಾರಿಗಮಪದನಿ if the swaras are not there then all songs what what will happen it will be just reading a prose it will be just without any uh, without any pitch right the same thing in the veda you know what happens the same thing in the veda what happens it is in the form of the three swaras you follow yeah so that is udata anudata swarita now you can see the next example i didn't i didn't know whether i mean i, I never thought that you don't know the swaras this uh, the swaras are, is i mean uh, the uh, anudata udata swarita i think in the, before we saw i remember sharing this document with you also yeah yeah uh, so then why sir any this doubt is this doc the the document is this what you see the screen now oh, coming back to you, i to the vedic mantra here yeah. oh sorry this is what i was sharing sagara bhavatu sahana sa sa is down ha is middle sahana bhavatu sahana now is up and if you take the line first line om atha ಅಥ ಪುರುಷೋಘ ವೈ ನಾರಾಯಣೋ ಕಾಮಯತ ಪ್ರಜಾ ಸೇಮ್ ಸ್ವರ ಉದಾತ ಸ್ವರ ನೋ ಮಾರ್ಕಿಂಗ್ ಉದಾತ ಸೃಂಗ್ ವೆಟಿಕಲ್ ಮಾರ್ಕಿಂಗ್ ಸ್ವರಿತ ಸೃಟು ದಿಸ್ ಪ್ರಜಾ ಸೃಜೆ ಸೃಯ ಸಾಪ್ ನಾರಾಯಣೋ ಕಾಮಯತ ಪ್ರಜಾ ಸೃಜೆ the a is going down eti we have the we can form the three types of sound you know the swara in our physical the vocal organ right so same thing here sr sr j eti praja sr j eti this is called udata anudata swarita you follow now raja Yes, Guruji. And Guruji, can you please share the previous document? I don't uh, seem to have it. Yeah. Okay, we'll do it. So, what I'm saying is, it's not A. Which vowel is Anudata? Uh-huh. The question itself is wrong. All the vowels yeah. can be expressed in this form. Yeah. Therefore, a vowel can be Anunasika or Anunasika. It can be Rasva Dirga or Pluta. Or it can be, or it can be Udata, Anudata, Swarita. So, combining this combination... the word that the bubble akara can have all this 18 forms how many forms 18 not only akara similarly ikara ikara i mean ikara ukara all can have such 18 forms it's called savarna it we saw in the sandhi in sandhi class we must have seen this anyway leave that out coming back here swara is it clear udata anudata swarita yes so which can have swara bubble or consonants Vowel. Only vowel. Don't, okay. But consonants cannot have swara. Consonants cannot be pronounced at all. Okay. Not, don't have this uh, samshay, I doubt at all. Only vowels. So if the swara of the vowel is anudhata, not the, any, uh, the, any vowel. What vowel? It letter. That's why I have written anudhata. Understand? It yes. letter. when i say anudata it means it has, the it letter must be a vowel because mm-hmm. vowel alone can have swara anudata understand when i say anudate it means anudata plus it so which can be anudata only vowels 
So for here, we have what? What is the what is the ether letter? Consonant or vowel? Vowel. Vowel. Vowel only. So when I say Aruda, that means you have to understand here. Ach is the ether letter. Okay. And here we are clearly, hmm. distinctly said nit datu where nakara is ether letter. There is consonant. It consonant nakara is it. Understand? Hmm. Now, yes. when a datu can not when. How do you know a dhatu can be an atmanipari? This is that rule. The dhatu could be an ajanta or alanta. If it is ajanta dhatu, then the dhatu will have the dhatu must be hit dhatu. Or if it is a alanta dhatu, then must be anudate dhatu. Anudate dhatu. Anudata that it the letter. Must be a verbal having the swara anudhata. Is it clear? Yeah. Yes. So raswa ach. Where is no question of raswa dirga and all? Any anud? Where is raswa dirga? Why raswa dirga? Anudhata. That's it. Simple. Verbal having the swara anudhata, which is if it is the ith letter, then the dat the dat to has the this ith letter, then it must be atunepati. Is it clear? Yes, good. Anudate data means datu having vowel having the swara anudata as ether letter, then the datu is atmanepadi. This is for alanta datu. And for ajanta datu, datu must be a nit datu. So now combining this, I'm right to be PC. This is what Sutram is. Anudhate, Anudhata, Anudhata, the, uh, the, 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 the combining these two, the form of a Sutra, in fact, this is a Sutra. Anudhate Gnitaha, Anudhata Gnitaha Atmanepadi. This is a sutra in fact. Anudata Gitaha. Anudata Gitaha means what? Anudata Gitaha. Anudata Gitaha means Anudata is a swara and Git is Nakara is the ether letter. Now the, the sutra, what happens? The ether letter should be connected to both. Gitaha. The year Gitaha is in uh, Pratama Bhakti. Anud Pratama Bhakti Ekavatram in the Sutra. Anyway, just to note, Datu having Anudata Swara, its letter, its Sangyakaha. Its Sangyakaha, Anudata Swara has Tiva, Datu has, or Dhatu having Nakara is letter, then the Dhatu is Atmane Padi. Understand? Anudhata Gitaha Atmane Padi. This is a sutra. Dhatu having the it letter. It the letter, if it is Nakara, it is Atmane Padi. That is one thing. That is for the Ajanta Dhatu. For Alanta Dhatu, Dhatu having Anudhata it letter. So, Anudata it the letter, or Nit it the letter, then the Datu is. The meaning is, the Datu having. Didn't I teach you all those things before? Yes or no? Have we, we not learned, learned this before? I must have taught this before. Okay. Datu having Anudata it or Nit. Just saying Nit. Nit itself and Nakara is it letter is there. Datu, if a Datu is Anudata, a Datu having Anudata it or Nit. Or a Datu, if a Datu is, I would say, if a, if a Datu is Nit. Or having anudata hita. 
then it is Atmaneta, the simple, this is the rule. Then it is Atmaneta. This is the meaning of this Sutra, 1, 3, 13. You follow? This is how we can identify the Dhatu. Now, Atmanipadi, we said, what about Parashmipadi? What about Parashmipadi? The rest are Parashmipadi, simple. The rest are Parashmipadi. All the remaining Dhatus are Parashmipadi. This is a simple, this is very simple. Sheshat Kartari Parashmipadam in Kartari. That's also important. Because in Karmani, we are Atmanipadi Prati. Sheshat Kartari Parasmai Padam. This is a sutra. The rest are Parasmai Padi. Now you understand Atmanai Padi, Parasmai Padi, how to find out? Yes. 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 1378. This is a sutra. So, Edatu. Anudhati Nitaha Atmane Padi. I will tell the Sutra and you can understand. Anudhati Nitaha Atmane Padi. Anudhati Nitaha Atmane Padam. The Sutra. Sanya is like this. Anudhati Nitaha Atmane Padam. Dhatu. If it is a Nit Dhatu or having Anudhati Nitaha, then it is Atmane Padi. Simple. That's what I have explained in detail. Nitha that whether it's Nithal Trash, Nithal Trash will be there for Ajanta Dhatu and Anudhata Yitha will be there for Ajanta Dhatu, right? And the, the rest are for Is it clear? Yes, Guru. Now for Nitha Dhatu, I have shown the example. What about Anudhata? Anudhata, how to see from this Dhatu Kosha? You cannot see in the Dhatu Kosha. Dhatu Kosha is just, it is made from Dhatu Pata. That we have to see Dhatu Pata. Dhatu Pata we have to see. How do we see Dhatu Pata? I think this much is enough. First, let this sink in your, no, your head. You will see the Anudhata aspect in the next class. And any doubts, please ask. So, Guruji, Anudata means uh, nasalized touch. Is that understood? That is no. Anudata it is nasalized. Not Anudata is nasalized. Ah, sorry. Yeah, Anudata it is nasalized touch. Nasalized touch having the swara Anudata. We have to say like that. Anudata is applicable only for the bubble. Right? Okay. So, Anudata swara is applicable only for the bubble. Therefore, it must be touch. And it is a gita letter. Ita letter means only nasalized can be, bubble can be ita letter. The word nasalized bubble, you can say, having the swara, anudhata. Translation, you can say, nasalized bubble having the swara, anudhata. It's okay. That's fine. Nasalized bubble with the swara, with the anudhata swara. Understand. So, why we are seeing with the uh, Anudhata Swara? Because is all nasalized vowels are not Anudhata Swara. Who said that? Did I say that? <laughs> How do you conclude like that? All nasal will be Anudhata? Is it so? Oh, no, I am asking. Garji. How do you conclude? So, just some basis for conclusion, right? Because in the previous document you showed uh, where, where it is given. and the Swarita. So all uh, uh, all these are, 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 no a bubble can be non nasalized a bubble can be nasalized a bubble could be nasalized if it is nasalized for example it can be short long or pluta it can have swara udata anudata now you see akara nasalized udata nasalized anudata nasalized swarita nasalized long bubble akara Udata nasalized, Anudata nasalized, Swarita nasalized, Sunali, Pluta, Akara 
that is udata nasalized, anudata nasalized, varita nasalized. So anudata, not that all nasalized must be anudata. Udata also nasalized, and it could be a short bubble, long bubble, or pluta, it can be anything. Swara is anudata, that's it. Okay. When we say swara, it is only for the verbal. Yeah. And here, it, because it is in the letter, therefore I say nasalized. Because only nasalized vowels can be it. That in the beginning itself, I told there are two amsha will be there. It amsha, anit amsha, and it amsha. If it is a verbal, it will be nasalized. That way you will not see in the Dhatu Pata, but we have to note. That is why I have marked like this. Oh, understand? Yes, Kaj. This is... Okay, this is Parashripada Atmanipadi. I am surprised with... I have not taught you, say. And this also, the Sandhi, this is a Savarna. I must have said, the beginning itself, all these Savarna forms. Don't you... Don't we have seen this? Yeah, yeah. We have seen you this. See? We have forgotten all those things. That time we discussed our Swaran, Sudhata, Swarita, all the 18 forms. I have sent this mm -hmm. document. You go through this. Very clearly written. More than this, it cannot be uh, presented. In general format and then specifically our example, Akara is taken and presented. Hmm? Yes, sir. Anyway, we will stop here. Now, Anudata, that part, we have to see from the Dhatu Pata. That we will see in the next class. I don't want to load okay. with a lot of things. Let's see. Stop here. Hmm? Okay. 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 Om Pur Namadav Pur Namitam Pur Nar Pur Namadachare Pur Nasya Pur Namadhaya Pur Nameva Vashishyate Om Shanti 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 Harihi Om Sai Guru Pyo Namaha Harihi Om I will not send the document. You write it. You listen to it. Understand this very clearly. After that, this whatever I type, I will send you. Okay. You have to listen to it again. Okay. You listen to it three, four okay. times. Must be very clear yeah. this. Then yeah. after that, if you read, then you will become like Sandhi. How do you know how you know Sandhi? So really this also will become like that. It's a matter yeah. of yeah. how much you get familiarity with, how much you how much time you spend. Adikasya adikam palam. Then you listen to the recording, you listen, you will understand. Then I will send you this document. Okay. Sure, good. But the other document, can you please share? I will send that. Mm. Yes. Thank we'll you. We'll continue good. this topic next class. Shatranta will keep it on board. Okay. okay. Yeah. Dhaniwada. Dhaniwada.